So George, I have a question for you regarding um, leadership development in online learning. And I know from, from as much as you get out and, and you see different institutions and different levels of preparedness, um, you're also probably seeing new generations of leaders coming into the field to help us manage. What do you think are some of the core, um, I hate to use the term concerns, but issues? Yeah. What do today's emerging leaders in this world of online learning have to be attuned to? Uh, it's such an important question because so much of what's happening in online education is, is new. And there's a lot of people now that in the traditional university, I mean, there's been online research that's, that goes back decades, literally, but now that's gaining attention in the existing university system or the more traditional model, there's a lot of folks that haven't had to think about online education in the past that suddenly now do need to spend time thinking about it. So as a result, I think probably a basic skill, and this is probably true for any leader, but is particularly relevant in online education is uh, willingness to listen, is really mm -hmm. letting your staff who are likely experts in some of these areas, you might have learning designers, you might have programmers, you might have folks with experience with social media that are very competent and very well informed. And so from the perspective of a leader, mm -hmm. being able to suspend sort of personal anecdotal views and letting the data speak to you and letting the experience of others speak to you is probably one of the most important things to do. A uh, mm -hmm. second point that I think would be, uh, I, it's really connected to that as well, but it's the importance of collaboration. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's probably one of those soft terms, it's, it's quite overstated, but it's something that I think a lot of people aren't aware of, as, as just how critical it is from a practice end. And the reason it's so important in online education is that many of the skill sets that we need to design online learning, to lead an online program, to develop faculty to teach online, uh, they are different skill sets that one person won't necessarily have. Mm -hmm. So when I first started with online learning, this was in the 90s, and at that point you could have one person essentially do everything. And I remember I, I would work with a few different systems. At one point I was just FTPing my files up onto a website, and everything, the, the, the images that I used, to the text that I edited, to HTML coding, I did all of that myself. Well now if you fast forward to, you know, a few years later, and we're in 2013, all of a sudden, online learning, quality online learning may have a problem-based component. It may have, uh, you know, may have sort of a gaming perspective to it. It likely will mm. involve a variety of different media, video, and otherwise. So in order for someone to be able to develop material and to lead a department that does this, there really has to be a spirit of collaboration that allows these various areas of specialization to communicate with one another and to work together rather than to sort of be in conflict. So there are more complex learning systems because of what we can do and you need a broader range of skill sets. Exactly. And, and you need to, to recognize from a perspective of, a, of an end user, as, and it's particularly true of a leader. So as a leader you want to create and, and model really the way in which you work in a diverse team. The way in which, because I, I found as well, I mean a learning designer has a very specific view of how content should be presented. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes uh, the, the uh, challenges that come when a d programmer comes along and says, oh how about we do it this way? And so the programmer might be influenced by what they think would be interesting, but the learning designer might say, but this is the learning activity that we need right, to achieve right. here. So it's just these different perspectives and, and creating a, a space where the leader models how you navigate yeah. those conflicting viewpoints or even those, not necessarily conflicting, but those, those different viewpoints so that you still have the optimal outcome for the end student. I think that's a key task for a leader end. But you almost always wind up with a richer output. Yep. Right. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why, I mean, conflict shouldn't be eliminated. You know, yeah, you want yeah, those yeah. discussions. You want yeah. the programmer to help teach the, the learning designer mm. what they're thinking, and you want to have the learning designer work closely with the faculty member that might be the subject matter expert so that they can share their understanding as well. Yeah, yeah. terrific. Thank you very much.